Hi everybody, this is Brian from Gaining Experience, and welcome back to Daily Tentacle Remastered. Now, I had a bit of a thought for what I was doing wrong with trying to get the, uh, the cat toy. So I'm going to try that again and see if that works, because I kept just trying to push and pull it, but I or pick it up. I never tried the use button. So we're going to try... Oh... Ah, I see, I see. I can actually use it with something else. Fucking itchy nose. <laughs> uh, uh, that is uh, not a noise I really wanted to hear. Okay. Well, I'd rather hear that noise rather than more grunting and squeaking. Sounds like because that was highly inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Awesome. So that means if I do... Where am I gonna put it? Uh, so can I just use it then? Mine. Bye kitty, bye kitty. Yoink. <laughs> I got a cat toy. Awesome. Oh, excuse me. Let's get that cat toy to crazy chick. Well, I'm certain I can use the skunk cat for something. <laughs> Happy le meow. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, why am I yawning already? Well, it is after 11 o'clock at night and I shotgunned a coffee so I could do this recording. But hey. Blame how long it takes for me to render videos. <clears throat> uh, and I had some audio problems earlier today. No. I record separately now my audio and my uh, game footage, which I'm sure you guys have noticed in the last few videos. Everything's gotten a lot better quality wise. For some reason, though, when I exported the audio for uh, the Earthbound video, I got only about 40% of the actual audio out of it. And by that, I actually mean, like, it was either on one side or the other, or dead blank, or for, like, mere seconds at a time, it was actually stereo sound. It was the weirdest thing. I'm not keen to repeat that process. It was not pleasant. <laughs> that was toy there. <laughs> Yawn suck. Okay, crazy chick, let's go to that thing. Oh, go out the door. Excuse me. <laughs> That's my inventory. Pretty empty. That's good. What the hell are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> there we go. For some reason, I'm really stuffed up right now, too. I don't get it. It's just... Bleh. My everything is feeling the gross. Alrighty. Oh, I don't have it yet. That would help. It would help actually help if I had the stupid thing, though, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, I want that. Give me my squeak toy. Oh. Give me. Ugh. No! Stop going places! You're not allowed to make your own decisions, crazy chick. I'm just glad you don't have to scalpel anymore. Well, oh, I got his attention! Ooh! Looks Get it. Like a prosthetic rodent. That cat's attention is 100% had, and that's in a pocket now. Another specimen. <laughs> That is a pocket pussy cat. Yep. 
Okay. What was he about now again? <laughs> nice clock. <laughs> yes, valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. Fair no point. No one will get near it while I'm here. But how can I get rid of you? Couldn't I please touch the clock? I want to touch it. Sorry, no. No one touches the clock while I am on duty. How do I get you off duty? I really hope I don't Aren't have to get you, you off to get you off duty. What's inside the clock? <laughs> really? Guarding it is more or less the same no matter what's inside. That's actually a very valid point. I can respect him for that. Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. Mm. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Well, even though he's an evil tentacle, I have to give him credit. Possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Burgers? <laughs> uh, squirrel that was just the grossest one I can think of. Good heavens! Hi, I'm Laverne. Hi. Laverne, What's your name? Eh? Curious name for a tentacle, I must say. Are you here for the show? Sure, why not? Yes, that's right. I just want to skip this dialogue now because he's going to tell me about the beauty pageant that we just passed. Well, you, then. There are some jolly good prizes to be won. Ah, uh, yeah. The grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Hmm. Well, be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I could regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. That would actually be fun, because I actually respect this guy. You know what? I decided I like this one, because he actually does his job, and he holds his job in high regard. Well, he want the dinner certificate, no, though. this has to be special. Okay, never mind, then. Right, let's go up. Wait a minute. I know where some humans are that I can scare. The ones that don't want to do anything. The lazy ones. Let's put some black and white with the black and white. Mm-hmm. Go to the kennel. Hey, cutie. <coughs> Gross. What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? Uh, is he hitting on me? <laughs> I'm uh, here to see you. All right, boy. let's let's play this grossness really? out. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, uh, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <laughs> Wait, does that mean his department <sighs> is a horrible mess? Oh. I'm here okay. by accident. Bye. Alrighty. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Let's see. Club Tentacle, eh? Yeah, he's gonna like me for this. And that'll get rid of him. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? Yeah! Let's go, bro! I'll, uh, I'll see I you there. Wait, to tell my wife. wait a minute. That little bastard was hitting on me. He was going to cheat on his wife. Screw him! You're free! <clears throat> free to do what? 
free to, to run wild through the woods like humans should. Alright, I'll roll with it. Big deal. Well, you're gonna not like I it because you're too you're old for that. Free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. <laughs> She's getting pissed off. Oh, crazy Enjoy chick. Being hunted for the rest of <clears throat> our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net. If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If mm, we stay here, point. we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, Ish. we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> she is getting real pissed the off at them. Filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hmm. Well then, I have just the thing for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Wait for it. Hey, look, a skunk. Three, two, one, and there it is. Bye, guys. Well, that's intense. <laughs> Holy shit. And they are gone in different directions. You can't do this. You don't run very fast, do you? This is an escape proof facility. You need to understand the phrase escape proof cuz uh, I don't think Who you understand what you that means. You can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? <laughs> uh... Oh, she can be real assertive when she wants to be though. Damn, she was about to throw some punches at them. All right, let's go check out that clock. I am certain there's something down there that we want. Like, power source. Crack that bitch. Yeah, let's go down. What are you... Alright. I'll roll it. Oh, there's the vacuum. Cool. So that's the hamster wheel generator. Okay. Extension cord. Use extension cord with outlet. Ha ha. Yeah. It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's oh. lab. Oh, ah, okay, buddy. There you go, little guy. Well, okay then. <laughs> you see the little guy. Hey. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm sure he's in there. I know the little shit's in there. Oh, you were my friendly little guy. Now you're hiding on me. I'm just gonna steal the hubcap. Yoink. I think I should use built-in shop back with mouse hole. <laughs> Somehow I knew that would come in handy. Come on, girl. And wait for the comic. There it is. The cartoony always bloop in the thing for the hose. That means I got him. All right, you little shit. Ha <laughs> ha, blinky blink. Pfft. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> so you're gonna stop being a little shit and get in the generator? 
Well... Do it. Good boy. Look at that sucker go. He just yeah. keeps running and running and running. Clever guy that he is. <laughs> yeah, I got one. <coughs> I have saved a crazy chick. I can go whenever I want now. Literally whenever I want. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I should feel bad. I'm not feeling bad, though, because I'm a bastard. Wait, I still have to do something as Nerdy Ned. Right, right, right. I have to figure out how to get the old bugger out. Fred, Ned, Zed, whatever the hell his name is. Some kind of Ed. Hmm. Hmm. I need some kind of... Oh. Hmm. Uh, the mummy's been useful in every one section. What's this? Man of the Year. Tentacle visits White House. Oh boy, he's getting close to stealing everything. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, hurry it up. Okay, let's see here. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Cousin Ted. Uh, can I push you? Pull you? Something? No way. He's too heavy. Can I no push way. him? No way. He's too heavy. Can I crowbar him? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Can I crowbar him? <laughs> That's no way to treat an old friend. Can I use paint on him? I don't even know why I have the paint anymore. Oh, I can use the paint on him. Ted is red. See red Ted. Wait a minute. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Hmm. Hmm. So somehow, some way, I need to get my mitts on this guy and get him up to her place. Isn't the guy in this one Red Edison? I get it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I can understand it now. Oh, I need to do some shenanigans, don't I? Wait a minute. I have the rope, don't I? Nah. Alright, that was worth a shot. Wait a minute, don't I have a... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just thinking out loud here. I might be able to use the stuff on the roof get him up there. Yeah, because there's the pulley there. I have rope. Uh, uh, are, are you crashing? Please don't crash. Oh, come on, man. Load for me, please. Uh... Alrighty, and we're back. Uh, yeah, the game just kind of crashed on me when I went up the fireplace, so let's hope I don't crash it again. Because that was really annoying and weird. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Use it with the pulley. Yeah, use it with the pulley. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I know what I should do. Okay. I get it now. I get it. 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 I have to replace Red Edison with Red Edison. Makes sense. Okay, I got this. I got this.
Dangling a rope. Use dangling rope with dead cousin Ted. Red dead cousin Ted. Red dead redemption Ted. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Be a very quiet game. Don't use a noose, Ned. Come on, nerdy Ned. Ned, Red, Ted. Okay. <laughs> Let's get you up there. <coughs> now, my wonder is, can I do what I think I'm about to do with this? Because if I can, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> what for? No. Pull rope. There we go. Yank. Oh. That looks so inappropriate. And uncomfortable, too. Oh, there he goes. I figured I'd wind up down there. Oh, that solves that problem. Yay! Well then. Any chance in hell I can climb the rope? I don't think that will do much good from here. Eh, it was worth a shot. Skip the whole going through the building thing, but nah, of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's go up then. And hope it doesn't die on me again. There we go. <laughs> I'm out! Yeah. No, uh, window. <clears throat> okay, so I need the rope. Use it on. Dr. Fred. Okie doke. Uh -oh. oh, that's one way to do it. Hey. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Huh. By the way, capital gains taxes apply even if you spell your name in lowercase on the form. Hmm. Alrighty. Go away now. Paul Ted. I wouldn't know where to put him. Uh, Bush Ted? I can give Ted. I wouldn't Push know Ted. where to put him. Use Ted with Dr. Fred. Can I do that? <laughs> ah, there we go. That was terrifying. <laughs> mm, thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? He's asleep, dude. Well, try and All keep right. it down, okay? Alrighty. Yeah, it was awkward. I agree with you there. Alrighty. Oh, I have control back again. Yay. Use rope with Dr. Fred. Okay, he was Fred. What was the first one then in the past? Was he red? I think he was red, Edison. Okay. That is some intense rope time, my friend. Okay. Now, what happens if I grab the rope and pick it up? What for? Uh, pull? 
No, mm. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Hmm. How about... Oh! He's gonna do something, okay. <laughs> That's gotta hurt! Give it a good reef. Oh, there we go. That looked like it hurt. Ooh. Cartoon impact. Ooh. Even worse. Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? I think Dr. Fred's still unconscious. Dr. Fred? I think. I, mean, I don't think he slept in like five years before this point. Let's do that. Oh, we're just gonna skip the whole getting him to the lab well, thing. Oh, I got okay. Him in here, but he's out cold. <laughs> I can fix that. I knew this funnel would come in handy. Duke. He already looks unhappy. <laughs> uh, let's pour some coffee down his neck. Yeah. Coffee for him. Oh, 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 here it goes. The mastery giver of life, Java Hurricane. Dude is going bonkers. Wow. Dude, and he is bouncing off the walls. Damn, was there sugar in that coffee too? Whew. Oh, he looks excited to be back to work. Damn good coffee. Damn right good coffee. Alrighty, me boyo. What happens if I give him the contract? I got the contract yeah. for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things <laughs> that I haven't read. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Fair enough. Oh, yeah? How? Mm. I'm getting yeah. a purple tentacle declared insane and arrested. Hey, that would work. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Hmm. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. We're in luck. So sign it. Oh, I'm not quite sure what we just did, but that's gonna be real fun. Dialogue puzzles are hard as the achievement I just unlocked. Okay. So I think if we give that to the boys from the IRS, I can get us some cash and we can get that diamond. Which is what we need on this end. <laughs> then after that, we still need to fix Ban Boy's stupid. I need to get that stupid quill. That is what I need. I know I need it. I just can't quite figure out how I need it. Well, how to get it. Durr. Okay, let's see. Let's get moving. Going for that walk. <coughs> Excuse me. Up we go. Come on. Up them stairs. Mm hmm. Let's see here. Did you say you have a PP-41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? 
Uh. Nope. You guys are awkward as hell, so I'm just gonna give you these. I'd this thing. No. I can't believe what a mess these records are. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta send it forward to, to Crazy to Chick. Okay. Well, I'll do that, and then we're gonna end it for the night. Well, it's because I need to sleep sometime. Sleep. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, come on, Nerdy Ned, move your little high-waisted pants ass. Gotta get to that time machine. Go through the dark passage. So I think I can just send it through the, uh, the port chrono, John. Which would make my life infinitely easier. Fairly certain I just need to send it off. Like, do I need to send it off now or do I need to send it off in the. Okay, so that does work. Good. Alright, I need to get outside. Uh, door. It's funny how this one looks exactly the same as the one from the, like, 1800s, but the latest one is way different. I'm actually very glad that Crazy Chick goes down the tube in her own way for that, because I don't want to see her, like, go head first in there and wind up seeing up her skirt or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> ah, just seems like it'd be inappropriate. I mean, we've already seen her underwear once, but... Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> I need to get purple tentacle signature on this. And we can deal with purple tentacle. Yeah. Let's go up and deal with him. Yeah. Go up them stairs, up them stairs, up them stairs, up them stairs. Is this the one I want? <laughs> no. I think it's... I think it's this one over here, I think. I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. This one? Hmm. There we go. I Let's get him to sign it. So. Oh. Hmm. Why would I be able to send it through time? Hmm. Alright, you know what? We'll figure this one out in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, guys, hit the like button. If you want to, leave a comment. I swear I'm going to respond to it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We've got lots of cool stuff coming out for you. So with that said, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Later!